So we decided to get married, and we wanted to talk to Brother, Brother Branham. So I talked to Brother Billy Paul and asked him could he, Brother Branham was at that time, this was 1964, and he was on a, a tour, and he came down through Texas and Louisiana and Mississippi, and by the grace of God, we, we was with him, in, we was in the service in Louisiana, and then we came over, was in the service in Mississippi. This was before we got married. And then in Birmingham, because Brother West at this time had moved to Alabama, so we stayed at their house in Huntsville and traveled back and forth to Birmingham. And Brother Billy Paul, he told me, he said, if you be in Birmingham, I'll fix it up where you can talk to Dad. So it worked out in Birmingham, and uh, Brother Branham was in a, uh, a National Guard armory. And so we met him in a little hallway there just before one of the services. So we were waiting, and my dad was with us <clears throat> when Brother Branham came in, and he came over, and the first thing he said was, and you want to get married? <clears throat> and he asked us how old we were which at the time I was 19 and she was 18. And uh, he wanted to know if her parents were consenting, if she had their consent. And then, of course, my dad was there, so he knew I was, had consent. He asked us if we were believers, we're Christians. And she had just become a Christian, and her hair was still pretty short. But we, we said yes, we was Christians. And then he began to talk to us about life. And he, he talked about how that we were young and that that was good. He says, you marry young and then you have your children and you kind of grow up together. And he talked about how close him and Brother Billy were. And he, and he says, you know, you, you get married young. He talked about all the children of Israel. They all got married young and so forth. He said it was a real good age. And then he said, because you are young, he says, that can give you some trouble, some problems. He said, and now while you're just dating, you see one another only at your best. He said, but when you get married and you're, you're living day by day and the bills come in and the kids come and, you know, the trials of life, he said, then you have to really love one another. And then he told us something that, you know, we, we failed it many times, but great advice but he says he says because you're young he said he told me he said now there's going to be times when she will disappoint you and he told her he said there'll be times when he will disappoint you he said but always be able to talk about it he said but now when you talk it as far as you can go and that next word would be spoken in anger he said, then reach over and get one another by the hand, get down on your knees, and don't get up until it's over. <laughs> I've told many people, have you ever tried to pray when you're mad? <laughs> but, you know, as I say, we failed it. But then he took our hands together, and, and he, he made like a sandwich of our hands. And... Uh, he put her hands inside of my hands, and he, he put his hands, which so was a whole stack of hands, and he prayed for us and asked the Lord's blessing. And we've had a we've had a 46 year honeymoon, so it's been the blessings of God and the prayer of Brother Brown that, that give us what we got, brought us to today. When we had our interview in Birmingham, and then about two or three weeks later, it wasn't too long later, maybe, I forget, a month maybe, it wasn't too far, but we was, we was staying at the, we went to Jeffersonville for a service, and we were staying at the uh, Wayfair Motel, and Brother Dow was also at that motel, and he was sick, and so Brother Billy Paul and Brother Branham came out to pray for Brother Dow, and there was a group of men we were out there talking, like you always grouped up talking in a meeting, and we were talking when Brother Branham pulled in the parking lot, because he naturally saw that station wagon, he knew it was Brother Branham. But Brother Dow was on the far side of the motel from us. So he went in, and he might have stayed in 30, 40 minutes, I don't know. But when he came out, they got in the station wagon and drove out of the parking lot. 
<clears throat> and when they got into the street, he done a U-turn and come back in. Because I guess he had seen the group of men standing there. And he came back and he stopped. Brother Billy was driving. Brother Branham was on the passenger side. So when he pulled up to where we were, Brother Branham got out of the car. And I was the first person when he got out of the car. He shook my hand. And then he started around the circle. My dad and different ones that was there. And he came back to me. And he stuck out his hand again. So I, I was going to shake it again. But he said, I just shook your hand, didn't I? I said, yes, sir. You can do it again. He said, I believe I just saw you on an interview down in Birmingham, didn't I? I said, yes, sir. He said, you had heart trouble. I said, no, sir. I was getting married. He said, that's what I said. You had heart trouble. 